Hello, good morning, and welcome back to the fish locker out on the shore. It is an absolutely beautiful morning this morning. You wouldn't believe it was the middle of January, would you? Yeah, it was. Um... <laughs> I said to her, I said, make sure you wrap up warm because it's going to be cold. We had a real hard frost last night. It was, well, last night and this morning. It was like minus two when I went yeah. to the gym. Now that we're in it, we're in a little bit of a sun trap. We've got the wind blowing over the top of us. We've got very large spring tides today, so what we're going to do... What are we doing, James? Foraging! We're going out to do some foraging. We've got about two more hours of the ebb, so the tide's going to be going out for two more hours. And we're just going to follow it down, checking around on a low tide line for everything that we can find. I mean, immediately we've got here, we've got limpets, mussels, oh, that spiny cockle shell, is it? Yeah. Spiny cockles, surf clams, and what have you found? Oh, that little flat winkle, flat periwinkle. Oh, lovely, James, well done. Oh, there's some more. Searching for anything and everything we can find. This is a good sign. Scallops. Scallop shell. Some We've got some. Queen ones. These are queenie or variegated scallops. And James has found. Wow, look at that. That's a pretty That's one. a rock oyster shell. But oh, there's a full one. Well done. Oh, that was literally right out of free. Yeah. That. That there is a little baby, one of them. What size is this? That is an invasive Pacific rock oyster. Oh. That is a good size one. Mm, yeah. If we can find any more of these, I'll be over the moon. Back to might keep that shell. Well, that there gets uh, get two types of oysters now in our local area. You get the European flat oysters, or these large invasive Pacific rock oysters. Now we aren't really fans of oysters so I'm quite happy to leave these here for somebody who is. What I'm looking for here before I go over the depth of my wellies is I'm looking for scallops. I know by finding them shells that we're going to stand a chance of finding some. But what you're looking for is they sit in the sand they have like a little hollow and they just, sometimes you just see them clap like that. Oh, nearly. We'll have to wait for the tide to go down, but that there, if you can see it, is a bright orange sponge and there's a load of cat shark eggs. That's what we're looking for. Perfect. Perfect. It's empty. Still, it's, it's a good sign. Oh, you really good. one already? Yeah. Have you found one? I just want to oh, is he full? It. He's been yep. in the wars, that one, hasn't he? Yep. Maybe. Oh. He has, he's a little bit battered, that one. He's been living in stones, hasn't he? Yep. Yep, he's full. So what are these? Uh, Remember? No. Keel worms. Keel worms. What about this guy? Do you know what these are? Uh, Slipper limpets. Slipper limpets, you're right, you're absolutely right. These here are bullhuss eggs. These are the eggs of a greater spotted cat shark. I've seen loads of them today. I've mentioned quite a few times before, but foraging is much better on spring tides. Just because on spring tides, the tide goes out further. See, my ears are glowing in the sun. <laughs> now on spring tides, the tide goes out further than usual. Extra large spring tides are even better than that because it goes out even further. Uncovers things that aren't usually uncovered. 
When you're collecting filter feeding shellfish, like clams and scallops, things like that, there's an old wives' tale which is never collect them in months without an R. So like May, June, July, August. And that's because of the plankton content in the water. It can be algae, which can be toxic. January, it's fine. And also, you just have to use your common sense. I mean, if the water, follow your nose, if the water is stinking, or if it's in an area where there's like a load of mud, or if it smells like oil or something like that, don't be using it, don't be collecting stuff. Look at that there. All of these scars that you can see on the rocks is all from those invasive Pacific rock oysters, from these oysters. Shows you perfectly there, that part there, they cling onto a rock, like that. Because they are an invasive species here, Seems the lads do go around with hammers and smash them just because they're out competing the native. And you've got your limpets, your flat periwinkles. Yeah, what have you got? Brilliant. Let me see. Oh, wow, you know what that is there? It's not a limpet. I tell you what, you're almost right. That's a special one, that. What's it? That might actually be a hunchback scallop okay. on the back of a king scallop. Well done. But loads of, loads of big limpets. Did you just say this time don't fall in the water? <laughs> oh, he's grassed her up, hasn't he? The reason why I'm paying particular attention to areas like this is because, as you can see, the waves are coming in and they push stuff up against it. So, like there, look, there's, a, there's an oyster shell that's been washed up against here. Oh, well done. That is the European flat oysters. So to compare the two, that's an invasive rock oyster and that is a European flat oyster. I'll keep hold of this and I'll show you what they look like if I find another big rock oyster. Well done. Oh, what's that? You see it yet? Oh, James, that's one. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, it's a clay pink scallop. <laughs> well done. This called devil's tongue weed and this is sea lettuce Ulvilactuca you knew that did you? Yep. this here is Irish moss all of this is all edible all of those seaweeds there are edible they're really nice but well, we prefer them when you, when you pick them out you wash them in clean or you wash them in fresh water otherwise they are just incredibly salty Clean them off and then steam them. Just have them like greens, steamed greens. Like, that looks dry seaweed. Mmm. Quite dry to the coat. Yep. Okay, I don't think we're going to have. Found a furrowed crab. <laughs> you should hold it behind it on its bottom. Oh, you are, you're right, James. <laughs> There was a couple of other little ones. Mm. What was that? A little shrimp. Got big claws for a little body, hasn't he? Another crab! Oh, yeah, he's going right, under there. Let's just drop this down. There's going to be more when we get further down there because tide's still got about an hour to go out. Like that. 
That is a good example of what a rock oyster looks like. Just like your textbook, like a clam that lives in a in a reef. And that there is a European oyster. So European flat oyster, obviously because it's flat. And that is an invasive Pacific rock oyster. There is another cat shark egg. What I'll do is I'll tag into here a picture of the adults. Yeah, those are the egg. Excuse me. <laughs> another eel thing. Oh yeah. So we've got a few for actually he's mate he's got a female look. She See? looks a bit young mate. He's only small. Wait, it was the gun it was obviously one. the guns what impressed her, wasn't it? He's got big arms. Ones. But What's here this? it's a pipe fish. Have you not even noticed that, mate? Oh, look. That is a relation of the seahorse. Hide it behind the box. <laughs> <laughs> now they even though these crabs and these fish are out of water, they're still perfectly happy so long as they're kept damp and cool. There is another one of those hunchback scallops there, look. That's just closed her off already. Yeah. You, those broad clawed porcelain crabs. Just well spotted. Just Put the rock back down. Yeah. yeah, gently does it. You know what these are, don't you, James? These here. Yeah, we have got some nice kelps just just popping out. I'm surprised we haven't found any nudie branches yet. Yeah, sea slugs. Are you giggling because I said nudie? Yes. <laughs> Did you get that sense of humour from your mum? I can hear her chortling. <laughs> what is it you've found, James? Oh, that is a dogfish egg. And you can see the little dogfish inside of it, can't you? Yep. Let's tuck that down by a rock here. Yeah. There's a scallop here, but it's the wrong way round. Well, no, you saw it close then. Yeah. Well done. Is that okay? Yeah. Just All you have to do, pick it up. Yeah. It's dead. No, no, watch. If you, If it opens, if it opens, I mean I'm having to put some serious pressure on that. See? Okay. If you find one, if you find one on the beach and it's open, just give it a, and if it closes up tight like this, it's good to take because it's still alive. If it stays wide open, it's not good to take because it's dead. You don't know how long it's been dead for. So yeah, that was, well that was perfect. In an area, just like I said, look, everything gets washed up. Follow the rock along, look, see? That just got washed up there. See it? Oh, He's a big Patrick. Patrick! Patrick! Oh, God. Oh, no. Empty. Yeah, big spiny starfish. Bob was over on that rock, wasn't he? Yeah, he has to go and find him. Spoon, 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 Right. Now these guys will dry out, so these need to be kept in the water. Yay! <laughs> Annally stood on that, well done, Annally. <laughs> That's a nice clean one. And there was these in the dead spot. What have we got in here now? Yeah. Have a little look around. Oh, there's a squat lobster. I do like these. These are called a Furbelows kelp. Right, 
You just be careful with your wellies. Come here. Because I found one. Just here. Just where my finger is. Oh yeah, well done. Come here. Just there, I've just seen a puff of sand. You want to try and hook it? Go around and hook it. You did. Yeah. All I saw was a little puff of sand. This one has got a slipper limpet on it, hasn't it? Yep. It's all right. I'll get the bucket. I've got. A, I've got someone trying to escape. Look. Velvet swimming crab. Called a velvet swimming crab because the texture of their shells. You know this, don't you? Yeah. You want to come here and help me with him? It's called a velvet swimming crab because it has Lippers. a velvet texture on its back. Yep. And these two swimming flippers. And red eyes. Yep. Red devil eyes. Yeah. No, he's just tucked him away. What did you say that you found, Hannah? Yeah. That is what Hannah's got there. That's what's called a queen scallop, and these are a king scallop. These ones don't. Go, there's another one there. Look, they don't grow much bigger than about that. Well, once you get your eye in, they're everywhere, aren't you? There's one. There's another one. And another one. And another one. Oh, there's three there, look. Oh, James, look what I've just found here. Oh, look at What have you found? A scallop shooting water out. <laughs> oh, one, look. James is... Look at him clapping. Oh, good spot, James. There was just little shoots of water coming, weren't there? Yeah. That is a little baby king scallop. And you see what else I've got in my hand? I'm going to pick this skull up. Yeah, look. Hello. He's tiny, isn't he? Yep. That looks like a leechy spider crab. Hopefully this guy doesn't eat him. <laughs> Let's wrap up this guy. Let's take it back to the water. Right. This is the size that we wanted to find that's one that James found look just lay it on top look look how big it is that one might be his baby okay you're going to throw him back there in the water bye bye see you later bye I can see a scallop there <laughs> the water's just too deep to get it I'll have to remember where that is and come back when the tide's gone down yeah that water there's about three feet deep there it is there. You just hear these like clapping and spitting water out everywhere. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen so many. Stacks in there. And I found one over underneath a rock. You did? Why am I put her in the water? I found quite a big squat lobster as well, but I couldn't get her. Yeah, they're. Oh, yeah, there's, the, yeah, might have caught that on the camera. Look, yeah, they're just everywhere, everywhere aren't they? Oh, look. oh, there he goes again. Where's the, where's the oh. Can't miss that one. 
That was this guy here. Yeah. Ready? What have you found? What do you think he's hiding? An incognito. Ah! <laughs> Let's, Let's take him over to the other no. ones. There's loads of them today, isn't no. there? Thought he was being real sneaky. He was like, oh, if I don't move, no one can see me. What I'm looking for in all this grass are little holes just like that one. Because in them there will be razor clams. Oh, there's. Ah, uh, oh no, it's broken. Sea potato skeleton. Right, do you know what this is here? Starfish. A spiny starfish, and it is a monster one, isn't it? Look, it's a ginormous patrick. Look how big it is! It's a ginormous patrick. We should get him back to the water. Oh, well done. That is a this one. That is a monster, that one. I see a tongue. You see a tongue? Oh, what you can see, that one's got two real big slipper limpets on top of it. What you can see there, look, is a sea squirt. And do you know why it's called a sea squirt? Squirts up water. Oh. This, right, this here, all I do, oh, there's another one. Just come up, grab my foot. So there's one there. Yeah, all I'm doing is putting a bit of salt on it. Stay still, James. And there's one there. What these are... All that is, is it's just, just table salt. When you're walking around, every now and again you get... Like a little squirt comes out of the sand. Just like a jet of water. There. Oh, and there. See that little hole? Is. And just take hold. There you go. There it is. That one looks more like a gaper clam. But yeah, these could be, could be a foot under the sand. Yeah, it is. Just sticking like a nub out of the ground. That is a gaper clam. It's not one of these. It's a big sand clam. Save you. Oh, he's a big one, isn't he? Yep. See his little legs underneath? Yeah. There's stacks of them here, that one's definitely got a shark in it. You can see there at the bottom. There's one. Yeah. And there's two here. There's three here, but look at that. Oh yeah, there's a dogfish. That's, that, well, that shows you perfectly the two different sizes. Yeah. There's the yolk in the middle of it. Like a yolk and an egg? Yeah, exactly, James. There's another one. They use little tendrils to latch onto the seaweeds. 
We're about bang on low water now, so we're going to start heading back. Look, I'm just, Baby. just talking about we cat sharks. He it. must have literally just hatched out of this. Yeah, he has. Look. Amazing. We made it back. Can't go anywhere without catching a dogfish, can you? No. We've made it to just save it. Well, don't go back. <laughs> oh, it's dangerous to go Right, back. have you got some bucket and some water in that bucket of yours? A little tiny bit, but there are fighting squat lobsters in here. Right, well, they're gone. And he's in. Yeah, <laughs> put a bit more in. No, I'll, we'll take it out of this dirty water and we'll get some clean water and drop him off in some deeper water because all that'll happen is he'll just end up getting washed up and dried out. There's a furrowed crab. But yeah, he had literally just climbed out with that egg case there. There's another one there, look. Just imagine if we hadn't come past here at that moment in time, a seagull would have probably come down and had him. Or he would have dried out. Was it a bull hat? Yeah, it's a Oh no, look. What? Well, that shows you. Oh, no. oh. oh he's alive! He's oh my god! <laughs> I think that little one there is probably a dogfish. Well, it'd have to be. The other one's a bullus. Oh my god. Quick, we need some water. High water. Uh, and there's the egg case that it came out of. There, look. Oh my gosh. He's just hatched out with that egg. <laughs> Have we got room for another one? Wow, look at this. Yeah, it's literally just come out with this egg case here, hasn't it? Look. Is there anything in that one? No, that one's long hatched. No, that's a bull hus. So two baby bull husks, two greater spotted cat sharks, and one dogfish. Now, all this turbulence here in the dirty water, and what I'm going to do is we're going to take him further down the air and I'm going to let him go in the deeper bit of water. You found one as well? Yeah. Number four. If we had a little saltwater aquarium, they'd be perfect in there, wouldn't they? Uh -oh. Yeah. James has found one. Yeah. Yeah. It's He's come out, alive. come out of this egg case, hasn't he? Do you want to pick him up, James? Put him in a bucket. Quick. Oh, it's all right. He's not going to get you. Go on, quick, quick, get him in the bucket. Interesting, isn't it? How oh, they're all kind of the same, same ginger colour. Oh. oh yeah, you found it. <laughs> Looks like a blobfish, doesn't it? It's a, it's a sponge. It's a mutated sponge. Mutated Are you going to carry the sharks? Oh, nice. Right, we found a little patch of shallow water. Clear water as the tide's turning. I'm going to let all these go, aren't we? Do you want to come and lift one out and let it go, James? Uh, I might do. I don't go. Oh, I I'll go. Pick it. All right. We'll never, uh, we'll never forget them. <laughs> and there's a little dogfish. Let me take the dogfish. There you go. Right. Look, one of them's resting. Look, last one, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go, mate? Where are you, you going to go? I don't think he quite knows where he wants to go. Ah. No, wrong way. Swim away, swim away. Swim, swim. Run, die, swim. That's, they rest like that. The current's coming this way and he's just resting with his mouth open. So these two, these two are off. Yeah, I've seen him, I've seen him. Swimming against the current, he's struggling, isn't he? These guys are doing well. See how this one here has just kind of tucked himself into a rock. They do that as adults. 
Yeah, they do that as adults. I've found them quite a few times when I've been diving on the reefs. And they just kind of tuck themselves into a little crevice like that. You woke him up. It's alright mate, I'll yeah. just put you back there. I didn't mean to disturb you. There you go. Oh. Come on, mate. Oh, yeah, they're perfectly camouflaged on the sand, aren't they? Well, believe it or not, they get to about 20 pounds, them things. I've got, <laughs> I've got a wetsuit with bike marks all over it. Also, one of them. Hey. How come I that is found red? a really red one? Dad said it's because it's got like a coral growing on it. I think I've got that other one. That you've... Oh, okay. It's one without the weed. That one's got a type. Of... Well, you can sell the, the texture on it. It's just mm. got a. Can I feel? Oh yeah, that's a weed. There's more bulbous eggs there, isn't there? Yeah. There's just everywhere you look, aren't there? Yeah. This one's tinsy! Come here, look. You're going to get rid of it, James? <laughs> There's the first one to come out. <laughs> that one there, the way it literally squirted straight in my logo. <laughs> <laughs> You've been sarcastic. <laughs> That's actually a little bit too small. We'll put the little ones back in sand. It's like the grip the crater, then bury them like when tide comes back in they'll sort themselves out. I've started up a little bit of a fire over there and we're just gonna build it up until there's a better coals. Now these keep Spitting all over. <laughs> I've had to turn them away from Anna because they keep spitting on her. James, what are you having? Popcorn and chicken tenders. James has just started liking scallops, so he's going to have a couple of them. Now, how many have we got in total? 14? Yes. I think we'll cook 10 and we'll save four for a friend of ours. But yeah, they're, uh, they're beauties. That last one that you found is an absolute monster. I'm going to build the fire up, I'll show you there all it is. These are little off cuts pieces of wood from the workshop and all I'm going to do is I'm going to build up a big bed of coals because we're going to cook on the coals. While we're waiting for all that to die down I'll show you how to prepare the scallops. Talk about starting me off at the deep end. <laughs> These are slip Olympics on top. Now inside of this shell there there will be a, a disc of a disc of white mussel, what you need to do is, if you can pop the shell like that, I don't know whether you can see inside of it, but running a knife just along the inside of there, you separate it from the shell. From the, like that. From the drawer yeah. to the bottom. Yeah. There's the disc of mussel that I was talking about. Now this is the frill. And the coral is usually, well there's the coral there, but these have just spawned, so the coral is fully depleted, it's almost see-through. Normally I would say eating that is delicious, but when it's fully spawned out like that, it's depleted. It doesn't really taste of anything, it gives you nothing. So today we're just going to be eating the white mussel. And hopefully, if we'll do this in a wanna, what you can do you is, that dark part there is the stomach. You can get your knife in behind. You can sometimes get hold of the hole. No, you can't. Not this time. Obviously. <laughs> as it should all pull out in one. Leaving the muscle. That was almost in one. Should all pull out, just leaving the muscle attached. Yeah, all you do is you just pop the shell. What's the exact same as a strollop? <laughs> Not exactly like a humpback whale. It's like humpback instead of humped mm -hmm. stomach. There we go. That was Yay. only a little one. <laughs> yeah, it's in its yeah. own little cooking dish. So we're gonna we're gonna sit that on the fire and cook like that. There we are. 
they've all been cleaned out. One of them had a little bit of row that was still bright, so I left it in it. And all Hannah's doing is she's put a little tiny knob of butter in each one. Thank you so much. And what else you're gonna put? Some crazy garlic. And I've got some of that peri peri sauce. Cool. I won't put it in all of them. James just wants butter in his, so. James, which ones do you like? You wanna pick the two that you want? What, these two or those two brown ones? Those two brown ones. Okay, we'll keep those two brown ones for you. Just built the fire up again to get a few more coals. These will be ready to go on in a minute. You get a fire right and they don't take more than a couple of minutes to cook. All they'll do is they just sizzle away, the butter melts and they sizzle away inside their shell like a little pan. And then as they kind of come away from the shell that's when you know they're ready to turn. It's like they've got their own little timer. Mm -hmm. Right, I've let the fire down, the fire's died down to coals and I've spread them out a little tiny bit. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to strategically place these in the fire. You'll notice I am wearing a glove, that fire is absolutely red hot. They're not all going to cook it, oh thank you James. They're not all going to cook at the same time. So I'm going to have to move them round a little tiny bit. We just said we forgot a lemon, didn't we? Yeah. And we have made it look even better with parsley before, but... We weren't I don't be... think the parsley really adds to it. It doesn't add any flavour, no. it's just the colour, isn't the, it? The, um, the hot sauce and the butter is enough for me. Yeah, I mean, it's, not, I, it's I more take, a visual thing, isn't it? I can take or leave the garlic as well, but yeah. And you can hear them starting out. You're... We didn't want to bring too much and jinx ourselves for not finding any. Yeah, I'm just... I'll show you now, look. As you can see, see the butter melting. And the last one. James, do you want to sit up here? We got there in the end. <coughs> Sauce is really spicy. Let me test it. You're sitting at the head of the table. You're sitting at the head of the table, are you? These two are yours, just don't touch the shells yet, alright? I'm going to need a new set of gloves. Yeah, burnt through my thumb. So you've stabbed yourself in the thumb and now burnt it. So at least you've cauterised it. <laughs> I'm just trying to make people feel better. <laughs> perfect. perfect, is it? Mm -hmm. Stop playing with his food. <laughs> trying to pull that bit off. You're all right, James. It's all okay. That juicy. Only there, like that. Someone was watching that and willed you to mm. burn yourself because you weren't sharing <laughs> with them. <laughs> I should have cut the bread thinner. That's what I struggled with. I don't mind, it was worth getting burnt for that. <laughs> that was absolutely delicious. You're it's sometimes funny dads, aren't you? I'm sometimes funny, only sometimes though. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't happen often, does it? <laughs> Who's the funniest, me or your mum? Dad. <laughs> There we go. Too late. <laughs> Too late. It's already in my belly. <laughs> and another bonus of this being, because we cooked them inside the shells, there's no washing up. 
Do you want some juice out of this one? Okay, there we go, we're all finished. We'll take these down now and we'll throw them in the water. It is a stunning afternoon, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And it's not cold, is it? Oh, oh I'm actually verging on being a bit too warm yeah. now. You wouldn't believe that it was minus two when we got out of the house this morning. You feel perfect because you are perfect. <laughs> we um, lovely little time on the shore. Saved some baby sharks, didn't we? Yep. Found some delicious scallops. I've cut my thumb, burnt my thumb, but it was worth it. Yep. I hope you enjoyed joining us. I hope you found it interesting. All the very best. Bye. See you later. There you go. Sure you can get them further than that. See if you can sink them now. Oh, skimmer stone. 